Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. In this video, we've got three rank ups for you. And they're gonna be some interesting rank ups. One, not gonna be a surprise, won't have to explain it. The other one, yeah. You may wonder, what in the world was he thinking? But then again, some of you will say, hey, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Anyway, we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. The first one up is going to be Kindred. All right. Now, let me explain what prompted me to rank him up because there's a little bit of a story behind it and it starts in battlegrounds so when kindred came into the contest i thought he looked really cool you can see that i have his profile picture i actually purchased it with 500 units and that is my profile picture okay so i i love the look of kindred now if null had a profile picture I'd have Null up there, and I'd probably swap between the two because they both would be awesome, but there's no Null uh, profile picture. Anyway, so when he came into the contest, other than his looks, I didn't really know that much about him, okay? I knew that he had this infestation mechanic, something like that, and so I faced him in Battlegrounds, and I'm like, okay, um, he doesn't seem like he's going to be... a uh, really tough defender or anything like that. So I'm fighting him like normal and I'm, you know, tearing him up. And I'm like, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. He's not all that great of a defender. I don't even know why uh, they chose him uh, or, or even put him in their deck for a defender. And then I did what I often do and tried to finish the fight off with a special. And that's when it all went wrong. Kindred didn't die. What do you know? I said, wait a minute, what is going on? I got rooted and he survived. And I said, wait, what's going on? And then he came after me. It wasn't pretty, y'all. It was not pretty. And I'm like, wow. So I said, you know what? I need to get this guy. And I was trying to get him, trying to get him. And we finally did recently in a recent uh, opening, we got him and then we duped him. So I'm like, oh, I'm definitely going to have to take this guy up. Right. So uh, I decided to go ahead and rank him up. Now, what you see right here, you saw that I was short some resources. That happens when I don't properly plan out my rank up. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I'm just like, oops, and didn't realize that I was out of that particular resource. So I'm looking around here for uh, what I need. Now, all I need is seven tier four basic catalysts to get him to rank three. Okay, so I had that. And I couldn't remember. I was like, okay, well, what, what was I short again? You know, and he's not, you know, no longer ready to be leveled up. He's uh, available for a rank up, but I don't have the resources. So I had to look again. And now I had the resources and we're good. Okay. That's just that. Now, mind you, that was just to rank two. And I just didn't realize I didn't have um, quite everything that I needed, but no problem. So Kindred will eventually make it into my Battlegrounds deck. And I will probably make a video, um, a, a deep dive on Kindred. The deep dives help you and they help me. Now, look at this. Look at how short I am. OK, I was looking at this earlier and I'm like, Ugh. um, so 
now I got to go look for those resources. And that's what I was, I was kind of looking for. And then you see here, I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to look. You remember what I was doing earlier where I was scrolling through? That's because I, I'm a little OCD and I like to clear it only when I am uh, done with that phase and just before the next uh, arena or something like that. And so I was looking through just so I could get the ones that I needed. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. Let's just go. So that's what you see me doing now. Now I'm just claiming them all. And you can see that I usually keep quite a bit of these um, in my in my uh, stash. All right. Um, in fact, I think, yeah, because it's a level up right now. So this is the time that I would normally clear it out, you know, but I usually wait just before the next one, the next arena is going to start. Um, and this is where I collected, uh, some of these Inferno crystals. If you watched my, um, that Inferno crystal opening, I was getting them. This is where you see me getting them. And look at this. Winter of Woe. Juicy, juicy. Um, all of those will help me. And uh, especially for later on, because later on in the video, I have a rank four. And then I have a rank five. Now, these, it's ISO. I was trying to remember what ISO I had the least of. It would be really nice if you could click on that and it would tell you how much of, you know, that class you have, but no. Um, and we got the magic heist. Do not forget, you're probably seeing this. Um, I'll probably put this out later today. So the seventh, um, you'll still have time to get yours in. So don't forget, just run the, the special arena, Magic Heist Arena thing, uh, which your six or seven stars. If you want to get everything, just run it with your seven stars if you have them. That'll save you, you know, some time. All right. Now, I, I remember ranking up uh, someone and I was short I think, yep, there goes my uh, objectives there for that. Uh, I think I was short a lot of cosmic. So that's why you see me uh, selecting the uh, cosmic. So now I grabbed everything that was in there, but I don't remember what I need now. So I need to look again because I know I got some of the resources. All right. And look at that. One, it looks like one T5 basic from being able to take him to rank three. And T5 basic, very easy to get. Um, Glory store has them. Um, I believe the Battleground store has them. And I even think the Rank Up store has them. So very easy. And don't forget that you can sell the previous tier and get it that way if you need to. And I've had to do that before. All right. So here we go. Just one. One I need. And then we're good. So I go here and I believe I went to the, um, yeah, Battleground store first. And we have uh, the new season has already started here. Um, and I have not done a single fight. Tell I'm not enthusiastic. And I was like, I'm pretty sure there was a T5 um basic in here and there we go and see i was i was right there i didn't even realize i was that close to forming the next one so boom just needed to do one not that many um battleground tokens and we're good look at that beautiful beautiful and there he is rank three i tell you, he definitely is a menace on defense. Um, I think 
He can even tank, if I remember correctly, he tanked a special three of mine, I believe. I know that um, I didn't take him out with, you know, a special one or two, but I believe even the special uh, three didn't do it. But anyway, so finally, he is rank three. Now, the next one is going to be a rank four. Think you can guess who it's going to be? Bet you can't. But the next one is more of the same. Kindred. So I took him to rank three in uh, uh, during one level up. And then I was like, wait a minute. The new Battleground season seems to favor Mystics. So I said, huh, I just finished taking Kindred to rank three. I was already planning to take him to rank four. And until he's rank four, I wasn't going to bring him into um, Battlegrounds. And also he wouldn't be, I don't use my champions below rank three in the arena unless I'm really grinding for a champion. So generally speaking, I won't even get a chance to get used to his uh, movements and his, you know, cadence or anything like that during arena unless he's ranked four. Okay, so I was uh, sitting there uh, and I think you, you see how much time I had left. Um, I don't know if I showed it, but it was like maybe an hour. I think it was an hour or so. Um, on the level up and I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and, and, uh, do this. And so I took him up to rank four and you already know why. Uh, and like I said, I will do a, uh, deep dive on him. All right. The next one, not going to be another kindred. Okay. The next one is a rank five, but it's also a mystic. So that's your hint. Pause the video, see if you can guess, all right? But the next one is going to be Juggernaut! All right, so Juggernaut during this season is a menace. He was a menace already, okay? Boom, Juggernaut is now rank five. And I do not run Mystic Dispersion, but he's still a beast. So that should tell you something. Uh, my Juggernaut is already uh, Sig 200, and I was already planning to take him up, but now I had an excuse. Now, I could have taken Kindred to rank five. I wanted Juggernaut uh, more, and I don't have a seven-star Juggernaut. He's available as a seven-star. I don't have him. Who knows when I'll get him? When I finally do get him, who knows when I'm going to get uh, him duped? And then finally, get him to SIG 200. It's going to be a minute, okay? So this juggernaut here is going to hold me until that happens. If I need his signature ability. Because the signature ability, I don't believe, is absolutely necessary in every single matchup. Um, well, we'll uh, I don't think I'll take a look at it here. I might do a, I don't think I did a deep dive on juggernaut since his rework. But he's a lot of fun, and he destroys. Um, someone told me that they use Juggernaut against uh, Maestro in Battlegrounds. Took down, someone had a, a seven-star rank three Maestro, and their little Juggernaut, he was not a seven-star, took down that Maestro in like 35 seconds. That's beast mode, okay? So definitely going to see him in my Battleground deck. No question about it uh, for this season. So look for that uh, when I do my Battleground stream. All right. Um, let me see. I think uh, when we finally get him all the way up, I don't think I go into his uh, SIG ability. I don't remember. But I don't think I did. All right. And I do need some more Primordial Dust, too. Got some other people. Okay, no, I didn't. All right, so he's SIG 200. That's going to do it, guys. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.